Death is something that is always on the mind of any living, sentient being. How will it happen? Will it be swift? Painful? Embarrassing? What receives even more thought, however, is not how one will die, but what will happen in the aftermath. Perhaps we shall learn, as we follow one Rhea Snaketail, a small creature known as a Jakai, and soon to be former denizen of a world known to us as Medius. We join her now in what seems to be a field of endless white. Rhea. Rhea. Wake up, Rhea. Huh? The hero of our tale arises, though it is odd to consider her a hero in the classical sense. A small, mouse-like creature standing nearly two and a half feet tall, with very large ears and a thick tail stretching the length of her body. She doesn't quite fit the usual dashing heroic setup, but then again, Rhea seems to lack one great quality of all heroes. She's not alive. Good morning, Rhea. What stood before Rhea now must have been the largest creature she'd ever seen. Its glowing white eye, roughly the size of her entire body. Its flesh was made of what looked like black and red fire, and yet somehow, the gargantuan black cloak it wore was unaffected. Uh-oh. Do not be afraid. I will not harm you. All right then, Mr. Creepy. Uh, where are we anyway? Why, this is judgment. Judgment? Then that would make you... Death, the Grim Reaper, I knew this, etc. Ah, crap. Hmm, let us see now. Snake eyes. Snake face. Um, Death wears reading glasses? Yes. What of it? Uh, nothing. Ah, here we are. Snake tail. Strange. The Great Book of Records has you listed as undetermined. Great. What does that mean? I will have to figure out your destination for the afterlife. Manually. Rhea, these scales represent the good and bad deeds you have done in your life. While I commend you for the amount of good deeds you have accomplished, I am sad to say that your life was still heavy with sin. As you can see, your evil slightly outweighs the good. I see. So then... However, you do not exactly belong in hell either. What? Where am I supposed to go then? It is somewhat strange. Come, I will explain it to you on the way. Lousy, ineffective system doesn't even know where I'm supposed to go. What kind of moron designed this? Am I supposed to sit around on the border for the rest of eternity? What kind of idiot- I said you? get over here! Hey, let me go! So, where are we now? This is the river of lost souls. Solemn. Call it the sticks. I've it's green. And are those skulls? Were you expecting fish? Now, what was I saying? Ah, yes. Whatever you call it, hell is on the other side, and that is where we are going. But I thought you said I didn't belong in hell. That's not fair. I am always fair. I will explain it along the way. And how do you change sizes like that? It's one of my job's few perks. Now, get in the boat. You call this a boat? More like a canoe. Wait! I almost forgot. You need to pay a fare of one coin of any value from any place. But I don't have any money with me. Well, you could always try swimming it. Uh... Or try checking your right ear. Okay. A gold coin? But how? Is it not Jakai tradition to give deceased loved ones to fare for their trip to the afterlife? We should hurry. We're almost late for our meeting. <laughs> I'm already late. You almost deserve hell for that time. So if we're headed towards hell, but I'm not going to hell, just where are we going to end up? Our current destination is the Ring of the Slightly Damned. The Ring of the Slightly Damned? What a, a dumb dum name. It is technically part of hell, but few, if any, souls are placed within it. Thus, 
Not even the demons choose to acknowledge it. There are exceptions, of course. We have arrived. Wonderful. There's nobody here. I am aware. <sighs> so who's this guy we're supposed to meet anyway? You'll find out soon enough. I believe that's him up in the distance. <laughs> Late as usual. The person Death and Rhea were supposed to be meeting was Buwaro. He is a resident of Hell, and as one would expect, a demon. This particular demon is of a breed most often associated with fire. These demons are generally impulsive, short-tempered, and often very sadistic. Though he may maintain the physical appearance, what with the large claws, a tail, and red eyes. Please keep in mind that Buwaro is probably the worst possible example of this type of demon. Ever. Sorry I'm late. I expected as much. Today I have a surprise for you, Buwaro. For the rest of her stay in hell, you will be in charge of Rhea here. I will? Is this guy a demon? He looks kind of frail and weak. Not scary at all. Ah! Buwaro is a fire <laughs> He has demon. purple fur, too. <laughs> What's wrong with my fur? <laughs> um, Death? Is it alright if I do it now? It's up to you. <laughs> ha! Ah! My tail! Why did you do that? It's my job to do stuff like that as your new demon supervisor. I'm going to kill you! Wait! Maybe there's a way we can settle this without fighting. There's only one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Ha! Rock, I win! Curses. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd death go? Farewell, you two. Try to get along. I didn't even I see, see him get in the boat. boat. So, do you want me to show you around? Sounds good to me. And so, the duo began to wander the ring, and Rhea discovered the wonderful secrets and experiences it had to offer. Wow. So that's it, huh? A bunch of rocks. Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, what do you do for fun here? Fun? Um... Um, Buaro? You there? Oh yeah! Hmm. I invented this game myself. You toss a rock into the air, and then you try to catch it. You are such a moron. Ow. That hurt a lot. Anyway, Death mentioned you were a fire demon. Does that mean you can use fire magic? Huh? You know, magic. I'm talking about the power to freeze your foes, electrocute your enemies, and create unstoppable chaos with merely a hand gesture or a thought. <laughs> uh, er, I mean, you know. Of course. I can breathe fire, you know. Watch this. <laughs> uh, this is fair. I know I, I can do this. this. Alright, alright. I'll try again. <laughs> Uh, Rhea? Are you okay? Well, Buaro, you think it's funny to blow fire in my face? How about a little uh, demonstration well, of my magic? that's not... Ha! Why did you just punch the ground? Ow! Ha! That hurt worse than the rock throwing Not so game. tough when you get hit in the face with a terror spike, are ya? Hope that all demons aren't half as weak as you. They're not. Holy crap, how did you- Hi, Sakido! Y you know her? Of course! She's my big sister. Wonderful. Rei's fear, of course, was not all that unreasonable, being that Sakido is around 8 feet in height, much taller than her fire demon sibling. Though, unlike her sibling, Sakido is a wind demon, and therefore has two large, black feathered wings. Clad in the faded rust red tunic, she gazed at Rei and Buaro. The haunting shade of azure her eyes gave off only added to the intimidation she exuded. Who are you? Her name is Rhea, and I'm in charge of her during her stay in hell. Hmm. She doesn't look too dangerous. She's my new bestest friend. Can't breathe. <laughs> Rib broke you. Uh. Oh no! I broke Rhea! Buaro, did death leave anything for me today? No. 
he just dropped off Rhea. How disappointing. Rhea! You're okay! Oh, yes. Buwaram, you should be wary. Iratu may visit us soon. Really? Soon? Iratu? Yes, that's why I'm warning you. At that moment, what could be seen on the horizon was almost indescribable. A pillar of blinding white light erupted from deep within the bowels of hell, reaching toward the sky, and it seemed to go on without any discernible end. Whoa! What is that? I don't know. But it isn't the first time that I've seen it. Sakido? Don't worry about it. Well, guess that's over with. Your sister's freaky, dude. She's not freaky. She's cool. Well, whatever. She's a demon anyway. But come on, not too dangerous? Do I really look that unintimidating to you? Well, um, let me think now. Uh, what do I say? What do I do? No, no means I get my butt kicked. Yes, yes, it's, it's the, the same. same. Uh, I can't, I can't deal, deal with these mind games. Maybe if, if I smoothly try, try to change the subject. the subject. I like rocks! What? What? I do. I even have a rock collection. Right. It's like, like you get, get stupider, stupider and stupider the longer you stay here. Just one more easy question before your brain totally craps out on this kid. Who is Aratu? Uh, he's just my big brother. But but brother Yeah. He's got big pointy ears, teeth, claws, and he's really tall. I think he's kind of scary, unlike Saki, though. Rhea? Hey, Rhea, where'd you go? I'm under this boulder, and I'm gonna stay here until your little Hellspawn family reunion is over. Oh, come on. <coughs> I want to show you my place. Soon, at Waro's place. Well, here we are. Here where? This place looks exactly the same as everywhere else. Check out my most awesome rock collection. All your rocks are the same as all the other rocks in this stupid place. Or not. Isn't that right, Thaddeus? Pet Rock? Yep. Her name's Thaddeus. Isn't she beautiful? Sure, Buaro. Sure. And this is where I sleep when I get tired. Rocks. Comfy. And last, but not least, this is where I keep all my best stuff. Beside my rocks. Well, what do we have here? A torn up book? some shiny rocks, a few bones, and what's this? A white feather? Don't touch it! I'm not sure where I got it, but it's special to me. Okay, whatever. So, now it's your turn to share. How did you die anyway? Um, I'd rather not... Whoa! Time flies! It's already nighttime! Guaro, what just happened? What do you mean? Everything just kind of went dark. There was no sunset. Sunset? I hate this place. Ramirez? Here? Here? But no, it can't be. I... Wait! Ramirez! Wait! Ah! <sighs> wow. That dream, it... Oh, whatever. Huh. Looks like it's still nighttime. Good morning! Ah, it burns! I think my eyes exploded! Oh god! You don't think I'm ugly. Do you, Thaddeus? Waro, did I mention that I hate this place? Yes, you did. But you didn't tell me why you died. And I'm not gonna. Aw, oh, come on. Was it... Lightning? No. Quicksand? <sighs> no. Piano fall on you? What? No. Drowning? Eaten by a snake? Too many carbs? No, Waro. I didn't die in any of those ways. Darn. I thought I had you with that last one. After several days of staying in the ring of the slightly damned, one thought burns in Rhea's mind. This place freaking sucks! Stupid, boring, full of freaks, ring of crap with only stupid rocks. Ouch. Whoa! Hey, Buaro! Yeah? There's a guy over there in the stick! Hi! Ah! Buaro, get off of me! But that guy's scary! He doesn't even have a face! A strange figure stood before our companions, a tall human dressed in a very flashy uniform, almost of a superhero's fashion. Our companions were more interested, however, in his complete lack of the right side of his face. Oh yeah, him. <clears throat> Sorry about that rock. Uh, 
just who are you, anyway? I'm Seymour Sinclair, the world-famous traveling professional daredevil. It is until a tragic accident occurred with my flaming light in his doom act. So sad. Is that why you're so ugly? <sighs> yes. In hell, you keep the damage you had when you died. Since she looks fine, I'm guessing she died of an illness, right? Yeah, an illness. You sure are smart, Seymour. <laughs> oh, I think I've seen your little demon friend before. Me? Really? Oh, yes. Many years ago, I saw a young demon that made a game of throwing rocks up into the air, and then being hit by them. Yep, that's Buara, all right. Wait, a few years? How old are you? Oh, I died years ago. Ever since I was put in this ring, I've been trying to escape across the sticks. From there, it's on to heaven. Um, what about purgatory? Oh, yeah. But from there, I swim to heaven. Although my efforts have been futile so far, I refuse to give up. How inspiring. I'd rather keep trying to make it to purgatory or heaven than stay in this barren wasteland for all eternity. Hell, even just thinking about it, I'm leaving now. Farewell, strangers. Wow, Seymour's a really fast swimmer. I really hope I don't end up like him. Seymour is certainly a unique individual. Yay! Death is here! Where the hell did you come from? That answer is somewhat complicated. Why not settle for a friendly hello? Poor Seymour. If only he had not stolen so much. Anyhow, I am just here to deliver a letter for your sister, Luara. Thanks, Death. You can count on us to deliver it to her. I'm sorry I forgot you were visiting. You visit here? Yes, quite regularly. So, how are you kids doing? Poor ass! Great! Well, I guess things could be a lot worse. Death, before you go, can you tell me how Rhea died? She won't tell me, and Seymour said it was because of an illness. Is that true? An illness? No, she did not die that way. Unless you count being related to someone and the illness. So, you had a sick cousin? No, shut up. Uh, why? I want to know. <laughs> oh. Why are you so embarrassed about your death, Rhea? It is nothing to be ashamed of. Hmm. For a Jakai to leave her village and be murdered like that, I'd say it's pretty shameful. Rhea, you were a beloved member of the village. And besides, Ramirez was the one who gave you that coin for crossing the sticks. Now, the Waro looks so sad over there. Why not go and apologize to him? Okay, okay, no pushing. Hi, Rhea. Hey, Waro. I'm sorry I bit you. I was just... What are you staring at? Hiratsu. Hiratsu. Wait, your brother? Hi, Hiratsu! Rhea quickly backed away, as a mountain of a demon plotted towards our companions. Despite Buwaro's claims, this Hiratsu didn't seem to have too much in common with Buwaro. Grayish, 12 feet tall, claws longer than Rhea, and unfortunately for our heroes, very, very drunk. Hello there, little bro. Hi! Greetings, Eratu. Fare you well. Damn straight. Hi, me. Oh, shit! Oh, hey! Sakido told me about you. <laughs> Rhea, right? Why, Eratu? I do believe you have grown since we last met. You really <laughs> think so? Though still as drunk as ever, I see. <laughs> Dude, why is your brother so freaking huge? I think all Earth demons are giant. Oh, Hiratsu's big and scary, but he's really nice to me. He's... Waro, let's do some training. You gotten any better at roaring? <laughs> Rhea, you try it too. Um, rar? Err, rar, nah. What kind of crap performance was that? <laughs> I'll show you all how it's really done. <laughs> Oh, dude, that was so dope. 
Come on, what about some weight training? There's no way he could lift that rock. It's bigger than... <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, wow. Piece of cake. Now it's your turn. Catch. Ah! What? Oh, uh, what about my favorite? Drinking train. <laughs> Drink up, little bro. I forbid it. More for me. <laughs> hey, Aratu, I'm curious. What's your favorite type of drink? Oh, uh, well, uh, none, really, but uh, this is a Bloody Mary. Do you like tomatoes? Weird. Actually, back in hell, there's this girl who died of alcohol poisoning and she... Ew, too much information. I think it's about time Iratu went home. Bye, Iratu. Now that Iratu is on his way, I believe I should be as well. All right, bye. Well, that was interesting to say the least. You're not too scary when he's drunk. Well, I guess we should deliver Death's letter. Where does Sakudo live anyway? Oh, really far away, at the Pinnacles. Oh, okay, I guess we can just go tomorrow. Do you have any idea who wrote this? Nope, but she's been getting mail like that for a long time now. A demon with a pen pal. This place gets weirder all the time. Come on, it's been a long day. Let's go home.